What is up, ballers? And we'll come back to the brand new video. And today, I'm gonna be showing you. I'm gonna be. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna be giving you guys a tutorial on how to on how to burn a CD in Windows Media Player. Now this works on Windows 7, Windows Vista 8, and I believe 10. But I've never used 10, so I can't give you that information on that. On that. And as you see, I have a screen recorder back because. My old laptop got hacked and it started deleting programs on its own, so I get a new one because I just threw that one away. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. Threw that one away. And finally, I got a new one and I installed Debut, which is the software I use. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So, things things you'll need um, are. A CD, a blank CD, pref preferable. Um, I'm happy. I'm happening. Um, yeah, any any brand, uh, any brand will work. Just make sure it's a uh, it's um it's either RW or CDR. Um, like mine, I have CDR CDR discs, so they work. Um, you'll need a computer, a a, a computer. Duh, you need a computer for to do this. Uh, you'll need a CD burner. Um, if your computer doesn't have a CD burner, like if it's not equipped, like mine is, then you can get you can get a uh, external CD burner, like I did. I got a, I got the LG, I got an LG burner from Amazon, twenty three bucks. Not not a bad deal. I mean, it, I love it. It works. It works good. Um, I'll put a I'll, I'll put a link in the in the description for it, so it's, that way you guys can go check it out. Um, Okay, so without further ado, let's get let's get to this. So, what you're gonna do? I already done these steps before, but you're gonna connect your burner through via USB. If you if you have an external one connected through USB, if you have if you just have the built-in one, then you could just put it your disc into your CD-ROM drive. Now, a message most likely a message will come up saying, and the autoplay thing will come up. You want to just close that out. You don't have to worry about about doing that. Um, you can create it using the Windows Media Player method, but I'm gonna show you the method I use. So let's do this. All right. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna click on a song. Turn my volume down. Send to. DVD or W drive. All right. So. Oh yeah. All right. So it, it's, it's asking me to name the disc. So I'm gonna go with that. With the CD slash DVD drive. Next. Alrighty. So. Now that that's sent. I'm gonna do the next of this DVD or W drive. Um, right click, send to you DVD or W, and th this is just basically uh, this is basically the process of how you would do it, um, of how you would basically. That's what you do. Is you click, you, you right click on it, or you can drag it. But I prefer to right click, hit send, and then hit DVD or W drive. So and now, wh while I'm doing this, um, I'm gonna talk about um, some channel, some channel changes that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be making. Um. The GTA series, I will no longer be doing that because I wasn't getting the views I wanted from it. Um, so the GTA series is currently postponed, but when, like if ever I decide to pick it up, I'll pick it up with either GTA Vice City or if I could download GTA 5 to my computer. One of the two. Um. There will also be some, some new, some new, some new features. Features what? Uh, some new, 
some new stuff on the channel like programming um i'm gonna have my brother come on war machine if uh you, you guys may know him he played uh he used to play minecraft vids but his tablet broke um hopefully he'll be starting on happy wheels and roblox videos for you guys so it'll it like it'll it'll be it'll be pretty it'll be good or i mean yeah something like that um he will uh yeah so he'll basically accompany me in the vid uh in the in the series um ex explaining on how to code in html format to create your own web page and stuff like that um Mm -hmm. I have to use every every time I burn CD. Okay. Sure. I mean, th this is it's time consuming, but it's good in a way. Mm -hmm. Um, some other things I'll be I'll be featuring is <coughs> how to create a YouTube. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be doing my how to create a YouTube series. Um, basically my YouTube series. Um, which you never got around to doing that because of some complications that I had. But hopefully it'll all work out. I think I got a couple more to do. a good workout for your fingers. Alrighty, now that that's done, we're gonna go to... Oops. I should have had this open, but... DVDRW drive. Yeah, I have songs here, but I'm just gonna delete them. Delete. You know, I'm just gonna do delete. Delete. Cause these are songs that that I've written to to disc previously. This one out. Clear this. Clear this. Delete. 
This one. Alrighty. Now, to that, you're gonna hit. You're gonna go to burn to disc. Now, it'll ask you recording speed 24. You, you have choices between 8, 8 to 24. I usually leave it at 24x. Even the most discs say 52. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Now, so you can name the disc. I'm just. Not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it as a default, which is the date, which is okay. Close the wizard after a file have been burned. Okay. Next. Now, this is important. This is it, the, the, this this screen right here is important to do, because if you click make a data CD it won't work in a CD player. It'll only work on a computer. If you click make an audio CD you can play it in car stereo, you can play it almost anything. So basically you want to click make an audio CD. Next. Now for some reason alright so here we go. Here's the complicated part. We're gonna go to the media player now. I'm gonna go to start. Oops. Type in Windows. Windows Media Player. Now, see right here, you have the bur you're gonna. All right, so you have your burn list here. Now, you have your burn list here. Now, is it, you'll see start burn. You're going to click start burn. Now, it's going to be pending. It's going to pend all the files. Come on.
you just give it some time. I mean, it's especially with with the with the the USB CD burners. Um, you you have to give it you have to give it a little a little more time than you would with the internal CD burner because it has to send the data to the to the drive. Um, as with the internal CD burner, you could basically just click it and have it start burning automatically. But with the USB one, you gotta kind of wait. There you go. It's burning. And this is gonna take a while. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut this and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, you guys. Um, As you guys see right here, it's done. Um, and when it's done, um, it'll basically, depending on your burner settings, it'll eject itself, like mine just did right now. So I'm gonna, I can take the CD out, and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted for this, but I'm gonna take it out of my burner and I'm gonna put it into my laptop drive. That way, you guys don't say, "Oh, oh, oh, it's it's it, uh, that's not the actual CD." Okay, it's, it's I put it on my laptop drive, spinning it up real quick. See, it works, and it's totally legit. Um. Yeah, so anyway, I mean, thanks for watching, um, don't forget to subscribe for more content, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description, uh, and don't forget, um, uh, subscribe to, subscribe to my, my brother's channel, War Machine is a gamer, I'll put, the, I'll put his link in the description, along, along with the Amazon link to get the CD burner, <coughs> so yeah, anyways, peace out. Okay, peace out.